Welcome from uh, London Buses, and uh, we're here supporting the um, the TfL workers' strike. Um, they're striking for a decent pay deal here. Uh, 2015, since 2015, they've not had a decent pay rise. They're treated just as appallingly badly as everybody else in the bus industry. Uh, and it's about time we all got together and, and worked together to get a better pay deal for these guys. They deserve more. Who who are who 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 are the staff that are striking? Uh, well, it's TFL essential staff. Uh, basically, uh, the revenue inspectors, uh, the code blue, code red people. Code red deal with the emergency situations in London, um, and uh, you know, without that cover, uh, the buses are, are left uh, basically uh, bare without essential um, rescue service. If, if there's nothing there, now TFL have actually put up some staff, but. From, from what we hear, uh, most of these staff have only had about one hour's training, which is not adequate to cope with London's emergencies. So how does this affect uh, members of public in London? Well, um, you've got the ever-present threat of uh, terrorist situations. We're in, a, we're in a deep situation now with um, all sorts of problems going on around the world. And it's, you know, really, without that emergency cover, can we really say that Londoners are safe? Have they used any staff to cover and... Yeah, 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 I, I understand it's sort of managers and, and middle managers, these sort of people. They've been given one hour's training, as I say, uh, to deal with this situation. Um, do they know what they're doing? I mean, we're hearing tales around London of bus routes um, uh, not having adequate cover. There's no code blue cover. Um, yeah, the situation's not really acceptable. I understand that um, bus companies are operated by private operators. What have they said about it? Not a lot, really. Um, really, uh, you know, it was it was always known that the buses shouldn't run without emergency cover. But um, to do anything would be classed as what's called secondary action these days um, with uh, uh, the new trade union bill. So there's nothing the buses could do because we were told by TfL that all is okay and uh, the red routes are fine.